We opened Eagle Ridge in, in the 2003. It's always been a supportive living building. Our property here is 90% Medicaid. At Eagle Ridge, they are partnering with their therapy group um, to utilize AI. And this is equipment that affords us objective data regarding balance and gait and mobility. We're seeing that it's impacting and helping to reduce falls as well as improving overall independence and uh, mobility of our residents. The technology that is being implemented here, it's very simplistic in nature. So the resident can engage and participate in that, but yet it's still very personal. So the AI technology uses the wrists, the shoulders, the knees, the feet. That is how it analyzes movement. We can get a objective result versus when we're doing the testing ourselves. I've enjoyed so much living here in the short time I've been here. You make friends with these people that are trying to help you. That's what I like. Every day that we see Willie, we're working on her transfers, we're working on her balance, we're working on her walking. And she was super excited that she met her goals and that she's been improving. Katie is very patient with me. My measurements were a lot better than they were before. So I know I'm improving. The AI technology will not replace us, it allows me to have more hands. So I'm not carrying a stopwatch so I can be more hands on with the resident knowing that the AI technology is going to be doing the measuring and all that stuff for us. It is very difficult to fill our positions due to the nursing shortage that we have. What we need to do is we need to grow new people, new staff, and bring them into our workforce. Not only just Woodbine, but long-term care in general. The challenge is having and finding those staff members that have the passion to take care of another human being with a smile, with grace, and with professionalism. We've had partnerships with many different schools over 20 years. What we decided to do is we could work with them to start growing the future of the workforce and the future of long-term care. We have these students come into our facility. We help grow them, mentor them, and as we're doing that, we want to make sure that those students get to know Woodbine. And in return, many of them want to stay and become an employee of Woodbine. We have the mentorship program where we make sure that they feel comfortable in the building, and that we do rotate them throughout the facility so they are not on just one unit just so that they have that wide knowledge base, so that way they feel confident in what they're doing every single day. As an educator, we need to provide opportunities for students to come and perform clinicals. And so they come to Woodbine, for example. They're getting a chance to see what is it really gonna be like when I become a nurse. And then it's also an audition for Woodbine to say, oh, we need this person. It is a win-win for both. These healthcare facilities, they tend to uh, hire our students. They already know that they're getting valuable experience. And so the students grow a connection with these residents and the residents have a connection with them as well. Um, one of the success stories from going to the Alexandria High School. I have worked at Woodbine for 29 years. So I think that that program has been very successful in providing licensed nurses to Woodbine. The long-term care basically that we have given in the past is different from what it is today, and it's gonna be different in the future. When I think of the future of long-term care, I think of it being a space where people can thrive and age gracefully. Even with technology, we're still able to display love, compassion, and dignity because we're better able to meet the needs of our residents. What made me excited is knowing that I'm helping to produce competent, compassionate, caring future CNAs and nurses to come in and take care of our valuable residents. I love the people that I work for. I am honestly so blessed to have an amazing staff, and that's what keeps me going every day.